hello guys welcome back to another part of android tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about how to add a fragment programmatically into an existing layout existing view group so in the previous part we already see how to add a fragment directly into a, into the xml layout of an activity so here we are going to add a fragment programmatically into an activity so open the Eclipse IDE here I am going to create a new project Sun Android application project and I name it as fragment 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 demo and name the project as fragment project here you need to specify a package name and for for the fragment to work you need to select the minimum required SDK version as uh, a APK version with API level 11 that means Android 3.0 and click next again click next here create a blank activity again click next here is the main activity name and is layout file and finally click finish now the project is <coughs> now the project is created <coughs> and on the main main layout there is only one text view is present now here I am going to add two fragment into this layout programmatically so here on the first activity there is only one text view is present here I am going to add a button on the <coughs> main activity and <coughs> whenever you click the main activity it will open up the first fragment and also the first fragment contain another button and whenever user click the button present on the first fragment it will open up the second fragment so go to the layout file there is only one text view is present I change it as main activity now I am going to add a button on the main activity add a button uh, here a button is added and change the ID for the button I change it as B1 and change the text of the button I change it as show first fragment okay here also here also we need an ID for the main activity so here it is relative layout here I am going to set an ID for the main activity Android we need it later Android ID equal to plus ID main ID I name it as main ID okay <coughs> now we are going to create the first fragment so first we have to create the layout for the layout for the first fragment so extend the resource folder open the layout folder right click the layout folder and select the new option and choose an android xml file and click next here i am name it as first fragment layout okay I choose the relative layout for it and click finish now here the first fragment is created here also I just add a text view also add a button I just add a text view and button here on the first fragment change the text as first fragment and change the text of the button as show second fragment okay also here also I am going to create an ID for the first fragment because the second fragment is added into the first fragment so here I'm going to create an ID for the first fragment ID is equal to plus ID 
I change it as first fragment ID okay now on the first fragment there is a text view and a button is present so whenever user click this button it will open up the second fragment so now we have to create the second fragment sorry now we have to create the class file for the first fragment so go to the package and right click it and create a new java class I name it as first fragment I name it as first fragment and click finish now here the class is generated and now we have to extend it with the fragment extends extends fragment here you need to add some packages okay now you need to create an override method called the on create view I just override a met that method called on create view now here I'm going to create an object of the view class just create an object of view class and v is equal to inflator dot inflator dot inflate there is a method called inflate and you need to specify that layout of that sorry for that and that method is inflate okay now you need to specify the layout of that fragment r dot layout dot layout of the first fragment is first fragment layout now you need to specify the root here root is the container here the view group is the container so container and finally provide a boolean argument false okay now we need to return that view return v okay now we just create the layout for the first fragment also that class file for the first fragment now we have to generate the second fragment so again right click the layout folder and create a new uh, Android XML file I name it as second fragment layout I name it as second fragment layout and also choose the relative layout for it and click finish now here the third fragment sorry the second fragment is created here also I am going to add a text view I change it as second fragment okay now we need to create the class file for the second fragment so go to the package and create a new Java class and name it as second fragment now click finish now here the class is created extends it with fragments fragment now here you need to import some packages I just import that packages and here also you need to override that method called on create view create an object of view class and v is equal to inflate that fragment view inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot the layout of the second fragment is second fragment layout and provide root as second argument here root is the container and provide a third boolean argument called false now you need now you need to return that view 
will return v okay now we just create the uh, layout of second fragment and also its class now we need to add the first fragment into the main activity so I will explain that it in the second part of this tutorial please go to the second part now for for the next part of this tutorial thank you for watching